Hello, hello, you guys. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I hope everyone's day is starting off wonderful. We want to get straight into you guys' messages, okay? Straight into it because, look, y'all, look, Eight of Cups. Hmm. You guys could be walking away from something here or walking away from someone here. Moving on, moving forward. What's this Eight of Cups for? Be moving on, moving on, on, moving on, on. What's this Eight of Cups for? <clears throat> mm, ten of Wands. <laughs> you guys are no longer carrying any more burdens. Y'all are releasing and letting go of these problems, these burdens, these baggages. Like, you're walking away from this, okay? For some of you guys, you could have been, um, like, going through some things, okay? And you're tired now. You're tired of carrying things that no longer serve you. So you are choosing to drop, release, and move on. Yeah. <laughs> will of fortune. Mm -hmm. The will is turning in you guys' favor. You starting a new cycle. You going on a new journey. Like there's some things that you might want to accomplish here. You no longer carrying these burdens. Yes. You walking right into this wheel of fortune of yours, okay? Yeah, with the seven of wands. You standing your ground, you protecting yourself, okay? Like you're not allowing anyone to disturb your peace. It's what I'm getting, okay? You saying enough is enough over here. Yeah, mm-hmm. Give me more on this bird, 10, 10. Give me more of this message, Spurt. The fool. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes. You guys <laughs> are walking into new beginnings here. There's some changes that's happening in your life. Okay? Like, you are deciding to... Um, like, bust a move. Like, you are deciding to take risk. Step outside your comfort zone. Step outside that box. For some of you guys, you know you had something good that's waiting for you on that other side. You taking that leap, baby. You taking that leap. Yeah, you're now on top of this wheel here. Okay, you're dropping these burdens and you are moving forward here. This is no longer you guys' energy, this Ten of Wands. You're no longer, you look, judgment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, it's some changes that's happening for you guys here. Yeah, you like this cycle, this, 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 this Ten of Wands is no longer me anymore. This been kind of rough for some of you guys. You could have been through some type of rough patch in your life. And it's like, no, this these burdens was getting heavier and heavier for you to carry. And it took for you to walk away, drop, release. And now you're on to bigger and better things, new cycles, new beginnings. Doors are starting to open for you because you decided to take risk. You decide to take that leap here. Give me more of this, bro. Mm, these are a lot of cards, but I'm going to take the first card on top. Ten of coins. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of you guys are walking straight into your destiny. Okay? Yes. And you have lovers here. So that could be like a choice that you have to make here. Okay? Five of Wands, Queen of Cups here. Maybe you have to, maybe you have options. You could have multiple options, multiple lovers, okay? For some of you guys, you have to pick and choose from one or two energies here. Mm-hmm. That could be causing like a lot of conflict, some type of mental conflict when it comes to making some type of choice here with the lovers. Give me something else on this spirit. Mm, they is coming out, coming through. These super many cards. Mm, you had the king of coins here. I I can't, y'all. I just say you have to make a choice. You have the king of coins and king of cups energy here. <laughs> For some of you guys, you have two lovers here. Okay? Two love with the sun card at the bottom. Yeah. With the nine of coins. Yeah. Two of temperance here. Two to three of coins. Young. A lot of you guys are out here single, living your best life. You could be going on dates, meeting new peoples, um, just getting back into flow of things. And you could have two potentials for some of you guys. Oh, we. You definitely have a choice here. You definitely. But I feel like Spirit is telling you whatever choice that you make, you will make the right choice regardless. This is going to make you very happy. Okay, yes, but I feel like for some of you guys, you may just want to stay stay single. Um, you're not really um in a hurry and get into a, a, a committed relationship is what I'm getting. I, I'm really getting with the nine of coins to the sun of call. You just you you love being single right now. You don't want to rush into anything. You don't want to force anything. Okay? You just out here just living life. Being patient with yourself with the temperance here. Okay? You being very patient with yourself. Okay? Hmm. <laughs> Give me something else on this spirit. Yeah, four coins. You guys are out here, like, looking good, okay? Someone on um, favorite color could be green, or you could be someone that loves wearing green here. There's a lot of green up here. Mm-hmm. It's like, for some of you guys, you may not want to, hmm, release anyone not just yet like you out here playing the field you know that's not gonna be for everybody but you have a lot of potentials here and with the four corns it's like you want to hold on to both or both of these energies want to hold on to you so there's definitely some type of choice here yeah definitely <laughs> Give me more on this, bro, on this message. Like, this could be someone um, that have, like, a goatee, a beard. Someone could have locks. <clears throat> someone could be chocolate. Very handsome. Someone could, um, whoever you're dealing with or... Talking to they um they could be someone that likes to wear jewelry. Hmm. Give me more on this spread.
<laughs> yeah, you guys are definitely out here just some um, <laughs> living life. You're like, no, uh-uh. Because -uh. whatever this ten of wands was, no. Mm. Yeah, occupation. Divination. Someone could be getting readings on you. There could be something that you do when it comes to your occupation that's going to bring in this ten of coins. This could be a new opportunity that's coming in for you guys. Um, for someone, you could be going to school to be a doctor or there's something about a, you know, working in a medical field, a promotion. But one of these energies, yeah, pathway. There's a new pathway that you are walking into, especially with this fool card right here. Okay, you starting all over. Okay, starting new beginnings. Changes is starting to happen for you, come through for you. The will is turning for you. But there could be a masculine that can be... Um, doing tarot or looking into you or going to a practitioner here trying to figure out what you got going on give me more on this spirit mm -mm. you got karmic masculine here so one of these masculines is karmic you have one that's looking into you um they could be into tarot. And then you have another one. This King of Cups is a, a, a karmic masculine. This could be a water side that you're dealing with or talking to. Pisces, Cancer, Energy, or Scorpio. And then you have a King of Coins here. Okay? Hmm. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or Virgo here. But you guys are out here ascending. In your north node. Okay. And you know. Just like I said in the beginning. There's definitely some type of choice. That needs to be made here. Between um, two. It could be two feminine energies. But. I have two masculines up here. And one of them is karmic. Anything else on this spur? <laughs> or for some of you guys, this could be one energy. But with the lovers coming out, definitely giving two people. You can have multiple options here. Give me something else on this spur. <laughs> Oh, na, 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 it's the way that she do when you're doing your thing. Oh, na, 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 Fuji. Yeah, unexpected money here. I'm telling you, you had a ten of coins, will of fortune, okay? And you have unexpected money. So for some of you guys, there's something that's definitely coming in for you guys. New opportunities, blessings, abundance here. Something is about to go in your favor with the will of fortune here. You have chill and obsession, flying monkey, abuse. Oh, we. Oui. Someone chill could be getting abuse here. Hmm. This not gonna be for everyone, but there could be a child. Someone could be obsessed with a child, and you got a bruise here. I don't know. Someone child could be. Um, being a bruise here. Somebody might need to, you know, if you have kids, you, you may need to start asking questions because it's like 
someone could be obsessed with your child. Someone child could definitely be um bearing a bruise here. Ooh we. Oh, weird. I'm not liking that energy right there. I'm not. Hmm. Give me something else on this spirit. Entity attachments. Yeah. One of these options, whoever you are dealing with or talking to or dating or whatever, someone can have some type of entity attachment. And it could be the mm, Spurs, so that's the truth. It could be this comic masculine here. Evil eye. Someone is sending you an evil eye collective and you had message. Okay, there could be some type of message coming in. Okay, about some type of commitment. Divine feminine here. Yeah. Actual money and karma. I'm telling you, a lot of you guys are definitely going through some type of good karma here. And definitely has something to do with like money, inheritance here. Someone might want to come in to offer you commitment. Divine feminine here. Okay. But I don't know, it's given, I, this energy is not to be trusted, whoever this energy is. Because you had evil eye. Message. Wow. How the hell? If you don't like someone, why are you trying to make an offer of commitment to divine feminine here? Is it because of some type of unexpected money you're about to receive? They could be jealous of the good karma that you currently um, have collective. Like it's raining. It's raining. Good karma. And someone is sending you the evil eye. So it's like they want to come in to make you an offer. But it, it's like they jealous of you. Because of what you have coming in for you. New opportunities, doors are opening up for you. You are sitting on top of this wheel here, this wheel of fortune. Wow. Give me more. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you guys are in your north node. Things are turning around for you. And then you have Ice Queen here. Over top of this karmic masculine. Wow. So there could be a karmic masculine here that you're dealing with or talking to or whatever. They can have an ice queen on their end that don't like you neither collective. These are two karmic energy, this water sign. Pisces, Cancer, masculine here. Or it could be a Scorpio. And then you have a king of coins here that could be looking into you. Okay? They could be watching tarot. But it's saying they are in their north node. So you 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 do have a possible a possibility here. This king of coins. But this other masculine energy, I don't know. This could be two people. This could be this karmic masculine and Whoever, whoever this ice queen is on their end, these these energies, they don't like you. They could be jealous of you because of these blessings that's coming in for you here. Yeah, look, very lustful energy here. And transition, rest in peace. Evil eye. Someone was wow. Someone is after your money collective. Someone see what you have coming in. And they might want to come in to flirt with you in this lustful energy. Like there could be a karmic masculine and karmic feminine energy that's plotting and scheming behind the scenes, sending you the evil eye. 
like this feminine energy could be telling this masculine to get in your energy, telling this masculine to get with you because of what you have. But somebody is about to transition. Okay, whoever's sending this evil eye, okay, and this lustful energy could be about to pass away here. And this this came out in a yesterday reading of a masculine, karmic masculine. Give me one more on this first. Yeah, and you have um seven of swords right here. I didn't see this at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone here is trying to deceive you, steal from you, take from you. I don't know. And you be careful with one of these energies. Look, third party, legal, and surprise here. Yeah, somebody could be definitely going through some type of legal issue, some type of third party here. Wow. Oh, we. Hmm. They probably need your help, collector. They, you look, false documents, info, statements, agreements. Yeah. Someone could have lied on some documents. Mm, mm, mm. Let me say. Mm. <laughs> Damn, collector. Off the break, unexpected income. So somebody here, one, and one of these energies is definitely trying to, you know, come towards you because of what you have coming in. Okay. Spurred. Thief. I'm telling you. And you had a seven of swords here. Yes, yeah, someone, they know about all these uh, uh, um, opportunities and abundance that's coming in for you, collective. They do. They could be trying to come in to manipulate you out of your blessings. One, one energy is for you and the other is not. That's only up to you to decide who is who for you. Use the sermon, use your intuition because one of these masculine energies is not for you. They are not. This could be, um, you could probably tell the difference because one is very lustful. They're trying to get in your energy. They probably talk sweet nothing to you because of what you have coming in. Wow. Give me something else on this spirit. Craziness. This, this is keep coming out for real. community like for some of you guys a whole community um, could have been a burden to you you had mature woman family room toil and labor expectation occupation yeah there could be a whole community that's trying to keep up with you that's watching you probably expecting something from from you gossiping holding secrets in a home here Okay, a mature woman could be talking down on you or talking about you here. They could be going through some type of struggle or financial strife. Mm, mm, mm. Look, toil you in labor. Yeah. Someone could be, and look, thief card again. Yeah. They watching what you have coming in. A whole damn community could be watching you. Because they, they, they going through a lot with toil and labor. And they could be working very hard. I'm telling you, just watching you, keeping up with you. Trying to, you know, probably trying to find out how much you're receiving. What you're about to get. Like these people, just to take from you. Message of concern and imprisonment. Okay? Someone could be going to jail here. Or already locked up. For, uh, I don't know. Somebody is trying to take from you. Do you have legal issues here? Third party. Hmm. Someone could be 38. Someone could be 39, 27. Yeah, you got false person here. Point blank period. Someone is wearing a mask. Someone is trying to be deceptive here. Okay. 
they coming in like as if to probably one of these energies probably coming in to love bomb you <laughs> just so they can get in your pockets here you have a mature woman and and this family room again like i tell y'all i can't make this up they are watching you you are the privileged lady being held in high honors. And there's an older woman that's watching you, talking about you, gossiping about you within a home setting here. Okay? Like these people are like very concerned about your blessings, which you got coming in. They are false energies here. And they are currently going through a lot of um, legal issues here. Anything else for this? <laughs> I'm telling you, these freaking people, yeah, this is distant horizon here. Like these energies could be doing something from a distance with wealthy man, pathway, expectation here, occupation, main female, mature man. Like there's a lot of energies here. Like someone could be expecting something from a wealthy man. Hmm. Yo, courthouse and official person. Someone definitely going to court for something here. Someone could have really stole from somebody with this courthouse, legal issues, official person. Because, of, yeah, it's a false energy here. Unexpected income. Seven of Swords trying to deceive you. I'm telling you with the Eight of Coins and back of that. Someone is working very, very hard. Like they are um, persistent on taking from you. Very persistent on deceiving you. What the fuck, Robert? These people? You know what? <sighs> and then you have house. Yeah. Yo, this mature, this mature woman could be this ice queen. That's working with a um, karmic masculine here. Yeah, they watching you become like. They could be watching you become famous. They could be watching you um, just become very abundant. Like they watching you like a hawk. Craziness. And a mature woman came out under false person. Yeah, it's an older lady. This could be your mother. This could be um, if you have a lover, this could be their mother. This could be your in-law. This could be a grandmother. It's someone that's older. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They could be doing something behind the scenes when it comes to following some type of paperwork. Okay, they could be going, um, putting in false reports on you, lying on you about a child, judication, great fortune, family room. There's a lot of talk about your great fortune. And for some of you guys, this definitely can have something to do with a child here. For some, this could be like a custody battle over a child. Hmm. Wow. Who's going to receive something for this child? Child support, alimony, custody battle. It's something here that has something to do with a justice system. Mm. 
Mm. And it could, I'm telling you, this mature woman is standing out. Like the energy from this mature woman, this older woman, is something that she is doing. And I'm telling you, she could definitely be this ice queen. Her and this comic masculine can definitely be working together. Hmm. Give me more of this bird. Judication. Somebody is going to court for something. Someone is like trying to gain something from the court system, follow some type of paperwork. I'm telling you, sudden wealth change. Mean male, mean, mean male thoughts. This masculine is thinking of a woman and her sudden wealth and the changes that's happening for this lady. And I'm telling you, that's you guys. And I do see lovers again. So for some of you guys, it's someone that you're dealing with or was dealing with. You need something else on this spirit. Mature man. Now you have a mature man and mature woman. This could be a karmic ass couple. This could be your mother and father. Grandmother, grandfather. Or you could be dealing with somebody that's older. Put the energies where you like to put the energies at. But there's something going on when it comes to a court situation. About a child. I'm telling you, you could be going to court. You could be currently going to court over a child. But remember I said. Oh, Lordy. Remember I said there's a child that's been abused. Wow. And someone could be going to court to gain some type of custody, custody of a child due to some type of neglect or abuse here. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm receiving different messages, you guys. Someone is definitely like, it, I'm getting real, real strongly custody battle. These could be like grandparents that's trying to get custody of their grandchild. This child is being a bruise here and somebody care. And somebody is going to jail. I'm telling you that now. Someone is going to jail. Give me something else. Mm-hmm. Sun and wealth. Yeah. Someone can feel like if they get if they get some type of custody over a child, they can they they want to have some type of money that's coming in or some type of wealth that's coming in. See, for a lot of you guys, your path is clear. There's a lot of changes that's happening for you. There's some type of journey you could be going on. You, you could be going on a trip. Give me one more spur. Mm. This child came out again over top of legal. 
there, there's definitely some type of uh uh <sighs> battle over a child, custody battle, something. I, <clears throat> Yeah, somebody is trying to, there's a lot of talk too going on in somebody's home. There definitely is an uh, older woman and, and male that's like working together. Like I said, this could be grandparents or you could be a grandparent. And trying to gain some type of custody of your grandbaby over a child here due to some type of abuse here. Mm. Wow. Let me say, I wasn't trying to make anything long, but, um, mm. okay. Keeping secrets. August. Somebody could have been keeping secrets in August. Someone could have spiritual gifts. Hmm. Damn. Okay. You have karmic father. Wow. Okay. You got jackpot. One one hundred thousand fifty thousand. Somebody about to come into some money here. Okay? And then you have a big surprise is coming your way. Okay? Someone could be bisexual. And this this karmic father, I'm telling you, this you already have a karmic masculine out here. There could have been a, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> there could, I don't know. This could be a karmic um, father. And an ice queen working together, trying to take someone child. They feel like if they was to gain custody of this child, they would receive this money. And then you have surprise here. Surprise, change. Someone could be moving, moving into a new home, a new community, but something big is happening for someone. This could, with, with keeping secrets, Unexpected income, jackpot. Hmm. A comic father could be involved in all this. This court procedure, courthouse judication. It's something going on within the courthouse. Someone is about to be granted something very major here. And this could be something that you do not see because it was kept secret here. Okay, keeping secrets that has something to do with big, big inheritance. Somebody's about to literally hit the jackpot, okay? Or somebody need to go play the lottery or something here. Yeah. Wow. So, I'm, I'm going to leave this here, you guys. I hope this message resonate with you and so like subscribe comment all this good stuff okay everyone continue to be safe and stay blessed okay until next time bye bye